Hey, hello, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you about what happens when planet Mercury is sitting in the 10th house of your D9 chart or Namamsa chart with other planets in Vedic astrology. So before beginning, if you guys not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon and click the like button. And if you guys have any doubt of watching this video, please do mention it in my below comment section. Okay. And yes, please like and follow my Facebook community page Parikshit Astrology also. So let's begin. Now, what does Navamsa chart or the DNA chart represents. See guys, Navamsa chart or the DNA chart mainly gets activated after your second half of your life that is after your married life or that is after 33 years or 36 years of your age. Now, the significator of the Navamsa chart or the DNA chart is planet Venus. So Venus should be placed in an exalted sign, multi-count sign, own sign or in a friendly sign. That shows that you will have a very great married life. Now, it can also be seen for the strengthness of your planet. Now, let's say for example, if any planet is debilitated in your birth chart. Now, let's say for example, if sun is debilitated in your birth chart and that planet sun has been exalted in your Navamsa chart or the D9 chart, that shows that that planet sun has gained extra strength or extra power. Now, it can also be seen for the marital life also. Now, what happens when planet Mercury is sitting in the 10th house of your D9 chart or Navamsa chart? Now, what does planet Mercury represents? It represents your communication. It represents your business acumen. It also represents your intelligence. It also represents the decision making power. Okay. So when Mercury is sitting in the 10th house of your D9 chart or Navamsa chart represents, these people are very good communicators or you can say that these people will have very good communication. It also shows that these people can be very great businessmen after the married life. It also shows that these people are intelligent and they have very great analysis. It also shows that these people are very youthful even after 40 years or 45 years of age. Why? Because Mercury is a very youthful planet. It also shows that many people want to hang out with them. Why? Because Mercury is a friendly planet. It also represents these people will have good communication with their boss or higher authorities. Why? Because 10th house represents higher authorities. Now, Mercury sitting here in the 10th house will be aspecting to the 4th house through its 7th aspect. Why? Because Mercury has only one aspect that is the 7th aspect. That shows that these people when they are in home, they don't want to take any responsibilities. It also shows that they will be in their own world like reading books, listening to their music, etc. Now, Mercury here can give very good reputation through social networks. Now, what happens when planet Mercury is conjected with different planets like Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, Ketu or Rahu? Now, what happens when planet Mercury is conjected with Jupiter? Now, what does Jupiter represent? Jupiter represents wisdom, knowledge. So when Jupiter and Mercury are conjected in the 10th house of your D9 chart or Navamsa chart, these people can become a very great teacher or spiritual leaders, etc. Now, what happens when planet Mercury is conjected with planet Venus? Now, what does planet Venus represent? It represents spouse, female in a man's chart. It also represents the married life. So when Venus and Mercury are sitting in the 10th house, that shows that these people need to communicate with their spouse in order to keep marriage going on. Okay. Now, what happens when planet Mercury is conjected with planet Saturn? Now, what does planet Saturn represent? It represents restrictions, boundaries, principle, discipline, etc. So when planet Mercury and Saturn are conjected in the 10th house of your D9 chart or norms chart, that shows that these people they will have a very restricted communication with their boss. Okay. Now, what happens when planet K2 is conjected with planet Mercury? Now, what does planet K2 represent? It represents detachment, isolation, misunderstandings. So, when K2 and Mercury are conjected in the 10th house of a D9 chart or Navam's chart, that shows that these people might have very weird miscommunication between other people. Okay. Or between the public. 
you can say like that so yeah this is it for today guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe below or else i will see you in the next video so if you want any consultancy please do contact to my given below whatsapp number or else you can even mail me also so until and unless thank you bye bye love you take care